In this video, we will show how to connect an iFlow light pressure controller to common components of an experimental setup. The iFlow light features two independent sources with one channel each. These connect to other components with Tigon tubing. Flow sensors may also be powered by the controller. These should be plugged into the same source as their connected reservoirs. We'll now go over the rear I.O. of the controller. Pinch and isolation valves may be plugged into outlets 5 or 6, but not the DC 24 volt one. Rotary valves may be plugged into the 4-pin outlet, which may be split into multiple such valves. The iFlow light requires an external pump, which connects to it in the rear. While channel 1 has two ports for vacuum and pressure function, channel 2 has one port with pressure function only. In either case, make sure to connect the pump to the same channel being used in the front. Once everything else is connected, plug in the valves and pumps power cords. To power on the valve, you'll need to connect it to a computer via USB. In the Flow Controller app, go to Settings, About, and Check. The rest of this procedure is the same as for the iFlow Touch, so please see its software tutorial.